Hello, greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I wanted to, to come and, and speak today. We are going through this great transition. It will continue. We are transiting and we're going to be moving towards this flashpoint, this, those great events that will be coming after that. But right now we, we are in this, this great phase of transition. Huh? And uh, so the, the, the event, we have to really understand, to stay focused on what we want and to know that uh, uh, there is a great, there is liberation right ahead. And for that, we, uh, we have to understand the media. The media are fear-based. They've been controlled for a long time to keep humanity in fear. They will be free very soon. For there is a great book I recommend if you've never read it. It's a, it's a strategic book from a general in the 6th century BC named Sun Tzu. It's called The, the Art of War. For it's a bit brutal huh, but because of the time and the circumstances. But the central message of, the, of, this, of, of, of this book is that there is nothing to fear but fear itself. They, they understood that, that fear is the means by which to separate, the, to control. And so to, we have to let go of, of, of all those fear, for, for there are certain fear, like uh, fear not to put your hand in the fire. It's, just, it's, it's, it's not fear, it is wisdom to say that if you put your hand in the fire, you're going to burn yourself. So I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all 99% or 95% of all fear that needs to be, to be let go. And for, for the, the, all the medias are fear-based propaganda huh? and they're all going to fall away. And it's not the fault of most journalists, for everybody's responsible for, but most of them are constrained to stay in that line, uh, uh, even, even the... The media directors are constrained by, by, their, by their controllers to stay in that line, but they will soon be free. And we're also going to be able to place, to put in place new laws that are going to be inspired by heaven that will come down to, to, um, to create those new laws to protect humanity and to protect the animals and to protect the nature and, and the planet. So those laws will be put in place and technology are going to come. They're going to be able to, to completely, we won't need to kill animals or to cut trees or we're going to be able to, to, to replace that by, uh, by zero point technology will fulfill or sustain us for whatever we need, material to construct or, or food to eat. The, the food to eat is so, it can take any, any form. It can, it can have any test and, and, and it will clean your mouth as you eat it so it's like this is actually beyond what we can conceive right now but the replicators will be able to provide all that we need we'll just need to to be able to to maintain them and to, to, um, so the, those new technologies will come. Huh? For us, it's like a school. It's a big school. It's more than a school. For we're experiencing the whole of life as well. But but uh, but uh, so, so so in school and. and but in this school, there are, some, there are some kidney gardens. There are some that are primary school, secondary school. There are some that are, that are in high school. There are some that are in college. There are some that are postgraduate. Not everybody is in the same class learning the same lesson. So what you want is to pay attention to your own lessons and to continue to teach teach and learn every day, to continue to, to, uh, to be in assistance to those around you for what the lessons we're learning, no matter what the class we are, is to learn about ourselves, our, ourself and our relationship to spirit, which is one in essence. It's about the oracle of Apollon, the oracle of Delp, know thyself, nothing more. For we've put so many other things that are more, that are, that are absolutely not necessary, that prevents us from seeing the true essence of who we are. For all of those, most 90% 90, 90 of the things of the world is distracting us from the essence of who we are, from the joy, from the playfulness, from from, from the ability to, to, to be ourselves. For not all those things, when I paint, I'm not distracted from my true self. I am connecting to my true self. But most of the responsibilities of the world and the system of the functioning of the world is not created for, for to put joy in, in people's mind and heart and, and so they can be fully themselves. But all of it is going to change. And also wanted to say that you want to, a lot of people are waiting for the galactics to come and they will come and very soon uh, the positive galactic for there are positive and negative gal galactics even in Sirius, in Pleiades, uh, uh, they are positive and negative, most positive or in Or Orion even there is a lot of positive or Alpha Centauri, there is some rebels that are, there is all kinds of negative uh, extraterrestrials that are that exist as well, but we want to connect to the positive form and to know yourself as a galactic already, to know, to forget that you, you, you are lonely human, mortal beings, you are an eternal divine being of light that is connected to, to countless, um, and, and to your whole soul family and spirit family and your guides and angels and, and to already make this connection so they'll be able to communicate with you, your own spirit groups, those who you are connected to mostly will come first. And so, so see yourself already where you want to be. See yourself as, as what you want to become and then embody that as much as possible. 
for we want to connect to the mother earth the divine feminine below and and the father sky the the the, the father the father sun above and those those great great energy beings have so much to give us we want to be really well anchored within the earth for the she will be able to provide so much for we have always been it's just with sometimes we've been disconnected from the earth that's why we couldn't feel the, the love and the abundance so so connect to the mother earth connect to nature take a soul bath to connect to the ocean or, or connect to nature in whichever way you can and do open ourselves to the communication with the great mother as well as, as drawing light from above to connect the nature of the soul is no different than the nature of the sun for the sun is the, the, the soul the, the light of the soul is just as bright as the sun just as powerful as the sun so I, I, I ignite a light and, and put see visualize and continue to cultivate this inner light this inner sun that will re, that will give you your power for, for powers will come from above and below and for, from directly from the heart of the mother I'm not, um, not talking about all the forms of below energy so it, it is all a matter of balance but everything is coming together I'm going to pull a few cards I hope this message resonated with you just uh, for, for we, we are really into this big transition right now I'm going to pull 10 cards and uh, for me, I feel like there's great celebration to come. So it's like uh, about staying happy and not taking anything seriously to laugh at any, everything, anything that comes to me that could be the disaligned to not let myself be drawn into the past. For the situation is the two of coins. The two of coins is usually the card of luck and unexpected and change. But here it's a very romantic card. A, there is love and romance on, on, the, on the agenda. So the, the, around that, around the situation is the five of staff. Here, the five of staff is like those all those those people that are debating, but they do not necessarily agree with each other. So, so it's only temporary. There is a for opinions are just opinions. We don't need to be right. We need to be true to ourselves and to to allow everybody to voice their voice. It's not because in this world, it's whoever talks the loudest is really who's right at the end. So it's, it's but it's this is all going to change. And for that, we need to find the fool. The fool is going to come from the outside world, the freedom from fear. What we see before us is, uh, is, is the Eight of Cups. It's a lack of clarity in some sense. It's two people, two poets that are disagreeing with each other. So once again, it's, it's more important to, to, to find peace to find peace than to be right. It's more important to... to, um, to um, for, for this, this idea that our opinion needs to be the one that prevails is not as essential as to it's better to be to be kind than truthful sometimes all the truth in that needs to be revealed it's better to be kind than to be uh, than to have, have to have uh, to your opinions to, to so do not uh, whenever there is a conflict you see that a conflict can happen happen is just to stop it halfway not to go pursue it and so so that's we're going to be able to solve so much by just this understanding is taught by the I Ching but then the hexagram number six, the, the Ching, the, the conflict is like to stop it halfway. It's the only way. Otherwise, it's, it degenerates afterwards if you go more than halfway into a conflict. So we're going to find this world of peace and, and uh, all the brutality, all the violence, all, the, all, all the, the forceful energies of the government will all have to subside and everything will dissolve so that we can live in a world of peace. But people will have to learn to respect each other. Huh? And what, then when we see, when we, we let go of those disagreements, those, those, uh, uh, the disagreement here, those two people that are disagreeing, we find the, we find the master, the heavenly master, the master of wisdom, the, 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 the true understanding. We'll find this, uh, this, this inner knowledge that will allow us to, to conduct the flow of energy in a way that is harmonious and gracious. What we have in our subconscious is the seven of coins, it's the card of gentleness of softness, of sweetness. So, so it's, it's far more, um, it's very, um, first to be kind to yourself, but also to express this kindness. Um, uh, kind, kind, kindness is a strength, so actually. It's the ability to not go into, into the dark, uh, not fall into the dark side of the force, for the force has two sides as in Star Wars. There's the light side and the dark side. But we, as soon as we go into the, we look into the dark side, we fall into it. So stay, stay on the light side and the bright side of life. What we see right now is the Seven of Cups. It is somebody that's dreaming, but he's got so many dreams. It's, it's a card that uh, we do not want to over-exhaust ourselves with so many options. There is so many doors before us, we, ne we don't know what to choose. So it's about coming down and allowing the natural door, the best door, the best option for us to, to unfold before us. 
As we do that, we find the devil. The devil is the ego. It's the is the is the play. The, the devil's play. It's a, it's the, the play of the ego. The dualistic principle that needs to be deactivated to let go of materialism to turn into the heart, and, and so. So as we do that, we, we we're gonna find here it is it is a magician that's trying to influence the future by by by, by with dark magic, and so the, this dark magic is the energy that's been used in the media, this black magic of and uh, of, of of putting fear into people's minds. So it's uh, uh, so we need to react and find our freedom to say no to all those things, to disconnect completely from the media if necessary, and from there we'll find the queen of coin. Which is um, which is the, is the card of abundance of of, of harvest. It's uh, it's it's the it's it's the plenitude of being connected to all that grows around us. And and then what comes to us in the very near future is this card of harmony. It's really grace, grace and harmony. The divine feminine that that unfold naturally. Our strength and power within this situation is the nine of cup. It's beautiful. The nine of cups is the dream come true. We are the dream coming true. We have our dreams coming true. We we believe in miracles. What comes to us from the outside world is the ace of sword. Is the ace of sword is clarity. It is a, it is pure clarity. It's pure uh, pure brilliance. It's it's. It's, it's this uh, the, 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 the the genius source to as we make space within our mind we have the, we we have this those, those much better ideas those brilliant thoughts that our spirit whisper in our ears sometimes they, they unfold in our mind so what is um what is our inner emotion, our hopes and fear is uh, those is those those warriors that are posing. So it's it's we, we're still being a bit distracted. That's what there is still interference. It means that we we may still be. Um, led to, to, to distraction in the outside world, but it's not, uh, but this distraction needs to stop so we can find this inner resolution. And from there we find the Knight of Sword is the ability to, is he who is able to fly anywhere, to escape any situation, is the freedom of the mind, where we can actually go from anywhere that's not pleasant, poof, we go somewhere else. It's this freedom to, to the freedom to forget, the freedom to, to remember and the freedom to forget. It's very powerful to forget about things so that things don't, and the outcome is the is the beautiful deus Quan Yin, the the, the, the goddess of, of salvation, of compassion, and, and it is the card of the universe. It is the whole. Anything is the world. It's it's about a, a, a complete ending of the old and and, and a beautiful uh, new beginning. And as we will uh, we'll mark the new age. And so we're getting ready. We're already ready. We're there. There's no there is no nothing to do but to to be who we are and to let go of all that is. Um, that is no longer necessary for that's been the past, but but now we are actually able to to put it in in practice, to put it in play. Behind me is the paintings. Is um, this is a painting of a, it's a portrait of, a, of these models. For the, for those painting when you paint a portrait, when I paint a portrait, is usually there is four different kind of inspiration. It could be a model that's in front of me, it can be from memory, it can be from direct inspiration, or it could be from a photograph. This was done from a photo. And um, this is, uh, well, it doesn't really matter what the process is, it's only the result that counts. And for it's not, uh, it's, it's not the, in the Mona Lisa, it's not the, the model that counts that made of the most famous woman in the world. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the work of Da Vinci, it's the way she made her. I'm working on, on the Mona Lisa right now. Uh, for the, this is part of a four piece, it's four panels. This is the first panel, this one's pretty finished, but the other panels still need work, they gotta to work together. It's a text about, um, about spirituality, for, uh, below the text there is the, a chair, it's the, the I am presence, the symbol of the I am presence, the tree of life, the trinity, the great void and the heavenly plane above. It's it's like a uh, seven chakras, and and each 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 panel is uh, is very uh, for the, the mystery we're refining. Those are very complex. It's a very long text about that got a, a channel text about it's it's called stop the pendulum of duality in others. For what what is the, the understanding is that the the. Our universe is a magnetic universe that was created on a single point of light. It's a vertical point of light. And, and, and everything is, is accessible through this vertical point of light. Yet, uh, the, and then there is a pendulum that goes from left to right. So we, 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 although it traverses the light every so often, 
It, uh, we need to stop it within ourselves and stop it within others so, so that we can see that point of freedom, this, the stillness within ourselves that gives us access to this, our consciousness can access the higher plane. And so the, this, uh, the, this, this painting is reminding us to stop the pendulum, uh, the pendulum uh, within others as well so they can see that point of freedom. And so... Um, so um, because uh, some beings here, in order to control the world more, uh, they have, they have, they have, uh, the pendulum was like this, but now they're going like this. And so, so it's like it's becoming even more difficult to stop it, and it's becoming even more difficult to see the light, because they thought uh, to this because of all the, the manipulation. But this, will be, this is coming to an end, huh? With all this fear-based uh, fear energies that will have to come to an end. They have to come to an end, but we have to stop it within ourselves and connect to the light as much as possible. So I'm going to pull a last card. I'm going to sing a song. It's a song. I hope I'm going to be able to sing it. It's a, it's a song from a, an album that I really loved. First album of the Massive Attack. I was a roommate in Miami when I was living in South Beach that loved this band and he turned me on to it. And it's called The Big Wheels. It goes like this. The big wheel keeps on turning on a simple line day by day. The earth spins on its axis, one man struggles while another relaxes. There's a hole in my soul like a cavity, seems that the world is out to gather just by gravity. The wheel keeps turning, the sky's rearranging, look my son, the weather is changing. I like to feel that you could be free. Look up at the blue sky beneath the tree. Sometime again, you'll turn green and the sea turns red. My son, I say, the power of reflection over my head. The big wheel keeps on turning on a simple line day by day. The earth spins on its axis, one man struggle while another relaxes. We sang about the sun and dance among the trees, and we listen to the whisper of the city on the breeze. You will cry in the most, in a lead-free zone, down within the shadows when the factory is drawn. On the surface of the wheel, we built another town, and so the green comes tumbling down. Yes, close your eyes and hold me tight, and I'll show you sunset sometime again. The big wheel keeps on turning, on a simple line, day by day, the earth spins on its axis. One man struggles while another relaxes. As a child, solemn pray, my hope hides in disguise, while satellites and cameras watch from the skies. An acid drop of rain, recycled from the sea, is washed away my shadow, burn a hole in me. And all the king's men cannot put it back together, but the gate of sun will nourish life and mend my soul sometime again. The big wheel keeps on turning on a simple line day by day. The earth spins on its axis, one man struggle while another relaxes. Great song about the ecology. Huh? We, we, sometimes, if we destroy the earth too far away from the destruction of the earth, we will have no home, no place to live. Huh? So, so we, we're becoming aware of that as a collective. The card of the day is trust. Is, is the ability to allow things to come together naturally in a beautiful way to develop our trust, to develop our, uh, this ability of. Um, of, of moving into the situation where all things come to us in such a graceful way and, and everything is harmonious within our life. So I wish you a wonderful day on those good words and I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Namaste.